See, he got attacked today. He got stabbed multiple times. So I reached out to him to make sure he was okay, of course. This was his response to me. So I asked the next, you know, logical question. And this was his response. Snizzy, the fake Akeen 90s, or is he? We got another controversial Navi in the community. Why is that? Let's see. Why is, his, why is that? Maybe it's because he's 6'4", 240 pounds, and arms the size of my balls. And there's no doubt he looked like Dragon Ball from Baki. Since he's is an up-and-coming YouTuber, with 1.8 million on TikTok, and with 560k Instagram. Man, some people say his physique was the same, with big arms, with small waist, and with his seven physique, he got everybody's attention. Community Natty, but when he cranked Natty, it caused the core the more outside and negative side of the community. I hate to break it to all you 15 year old kids that think Shizzy is natural. He's not fucking natural. There's no chance in hell that he is natural. And if you keep believing that he's natural, you're never gonna look like him in a million years. Ever. If you train naturally. Well, one side say, say he's not natural, and the other side is defending him. Snizzy went up and up with a video about how he took his natural status as seriously and how his childhood trauma and struggles. There's a thousand ways to say this. But listen, because I'm only going to say it once. My dad left my mom when I was in second grade with six kids. So I have five brothers and sisters. And that was the only picture I had of him. So when I got older and I graduated from my rehab when I was 21, that was the only picture I had. And I told myself that I want to be a better man. I want to be bigger than him. That I'm never going to be anything like him. Every day I would look in the mirror at the gym, I remember that picture. And it started out when I was, you know, just getting started. And I envisioned myself being bigger and I pushed myself and I fought. Every day I pushed myself. It bothers me so much. That's the reason why I defend my natural status is because I fought for it. Because no one gave it to me. Because I, it was just me. Me alone in the gym. Me alone in the mirror. Me alone in my head. No one did it for me. I worked for it, and I'm never going to let someone else take that from me. Sizzy dad watched his mother with six kids. And for Sizzy, that was a big turning point for him. Who he's been a good athlete, tried to be better than his dad. Sizzy promised to be better than his dad. But after he dove into some drugs, it seems like Sizzy had so much in his hands. But after he ended up in rehab, Sizzy, and after all that, he would come to his senses. Oh, 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 become and choose to change. He was like playing for he was amazing actually and played with his siblings. So at 19 years old, Snissy decided to change his wife for the better. Then after all that, he caught the attention of skeptics. I might have accidentally defended a fake natty. This is Shizzy, one of the most controversial naturals in the fitness industry. I made a video of him saying he was natty, saying it was elite genetics, and blood work came out to prove it, or did it. I got sussed out by a few things, and then I went back and looked. And the more I looked, the less I believed he was natural. Take this one year transformation for starters, and keep in mind this is after six years of lifting, but he says he was dealing with some personal stuff, okay, give him the benefit of the doubt there. Let's dive into the blood work. BUN is weird. If you compare his blood work to my boy Anthony, who is coming off a trend and halo stack, the gear user scores better. If you compare his AST to D trend, D trend scores better. You can say having a high protein diet and training can mess up your AST. I don't know if it'd be this much, but I know it can really mess it up if you vape, so maybe he vapes. Blood work doesn't tell you if you're natural. There's a lot of ways to manipulate it, and a lot of people have different genetics, and it can change the story. To catch a fake natty, you don't blood test him, you drug test him. Overall, I'm not saying he's a fake natty. I'm just saying he's not for sure natural. Can't tell from the bloods being done. I want him to be natural because I feel like it'd be a big inspiration to a lot of kids. To explain everything would need to prove his natty status, Snizzy partnered with two and me his fitness to get blood work. So we just got back Shizzy's testosterone results and it doesn't look good. This is a Shizzy Natural Part 4. We already analyzed other blood markers, but we had to wait for the total testosterone and the free testosterone to come back. As it says here, yes, that is fairly normal. Weren't trying to hide anything, just didn't have them yet. 
While falling within the normal range, his total testosterone was at 340, which isn't very high, and his free testosterone was a point below reference range. So unfortunately, this isn't. Snoozy Brad look kind of look kind of off, but it could be because he's done with a bodybuilder show. And he also watched with this guy. Guy. I'm officially changing my stance on Chizzy's natural status. You see, he got attacked today. He got stabbed multiple times. So I reached out to him to make sure he was okay, of course. And this was his response to me. So I asked the next, you know, logical question. And this was his response. Sorry, can't do it anymore. Dude's not natural. He was stabbed four times, and when people asked how he was, this is how he was. This is how he spawned. People were like, yo, did Chizzy really hit chest day after getting stabbed in the chest? Yes. And the short answer to that is, it was chest day. I mean, do I need to say more? I love chest day. I love chest flops. I love everything about it. I didn't want to be a pussy. I just wanted to be able to show you guys, hey, I want it this bad. If Are they alive? They're not going to be living their best lives. That's for sure. What did I do? Well, what, all, what's the, what, what do you think you can do in that situation? You know what I'm saying? I don't like... What I did was I literally just cracked this dude's skull. The other dude, I just grabbed his throat and I fucking squeezed really hard. All right, my dear.